going to show you now how I make my kombucha vinegar. I just take some of my kombucha and I put it in these little containers. And then I take a, uh, I'm going to make sure I get all the little bits. I take this and I'll cover it with a coffee filter. And I usually stack a few of them together. And in the next uh, clip, I will show you the vinegar that we're going to use. I then take them and put them in a uh, warm, dark cupboard. Okay, I have been making kombucha vinegar just for this project. So I've gotten little baby kombucha. I'm just going to take most of it out. We're going to leave about a tablespoon behind. So I want to make some more. So this is hibiscus kombucha that is vinegar now. Oops, leave a little in there. And this is just for this project. We're going to test the pH. And I'll see where we are. Alrighty, so uh, we're now going to filter this hibiscus kombucha vinegar, kombucha vinegar, and uh, because we really don't want solid particles in our finished product, it's just not very palatable. And we don't want to take any chance of, of uh, accelerated growth in this. So I'm just going to let this filter, and I'm probably going to do this two or three times, and uh, just make sure we've gotten uh, as clear of a product as we possibly can. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a thing. Back when it's time to create with our hibiscus kombucha vinegar. If you've enjoyed this, please click like and subscribe and come on back to my soapy kitchen anytime. Bye for now. This is a no go. I just can take hold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me. So good job.